Behind you, coach, the uh, looks like powerlifting. Uh, you had your athletes compete in powerlifting? Yes, and here's a good quote, not a quote, but um, we have had a powerlifting team um, since 1985. I'll give you that stat. 1985. Um, we would go up with the first one, it was Teaneck, New Jersey, Palisades High School. Uh, Ron Panacidi was running the uh, powerlifting things. Wow. The first time that we took a team there, we only had five kids. And Were we they had, all football players? They all football players. <laughs> okay. And we ended up winning our first state championship in 1985 with five kids. Back then, um, when I grew up in Edison, I remember the late 80s, JFK High School in Island had a powerlifting team. Yes, and they came. We did a little thing between us and them. They stopped but all they, that. Yep, I they don't came want... to, I'm trying to think of the coach. I think he got sick at the time. Uh, but then I took over running the meet It's at our former high school down the street. And uh, about five, six years ago, we took out the squats because I saw so many kids come in, and it became dangerous. We would run a two, three platform meet because I had the <clears> equipment. <throat> It would might take all day, but we'd have 80, 90 kids. And we were always, and you could quote Ron Panacidi because he would come down and be the head judge. And basically he would uh, say, I don't know how we started this thing exactly at 9.15 <laughs> and we're out of here at 3.30, quarter four, because I've been to many meets before. And uh, what would happen would be is that, you know, there's 25 guys in the meet, men's meet, kids meet, and we're there all day long. Cut, cut the video while they 